actually the next match is going to be the slobber knocker lock locker slobber the slobber knocker locker docker because chris g will be representing guile and i'm not seeing this character be played at the a high level at all this entire weekend yeah. i hear this man with the flick of the wrist can put on those sonic boom loops he the fruity that. loops that turn your milk into some rainbow color and has no nutritional value this man has those loops but in his way is the man representing china and panda tv taco the man with the big mouth as his name uh, actually means <laughs> yeah dude and and you're right about that and chris g He's already locked in and warmed up. He was actually practicing those Sonic Boom combos for the last five, ten minutes here. Getting mm -hmm. himself ready for those extended Gal combos. You know he loves to rock them out on stream. He loves to impress a crowd. He's got a chance right now to take out one of China's heaviest hitters on the stream for everyone. Chris G. Panda, 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 Panda. Panda, Panda TV. I like this. Uh, I like this color. Okay, these looks like button tracks. As you see, Chris G rocking the DLC platform uh, costumes in that mustard. Yeah, I've mustard. never seen that. Mustard. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, I do not know who had unlocked the colors, but that Evo intern certainly deserved some applause. As I hear, it currently takes over. 2,000 man hours, but uh, if you were at the Capcom panel and mm. EVO, mm. you will have heard the good news mm. that it is much easier to unlock colors and costumes uh, moving forward in the next update. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Good to hear. Good mm. for players and TOs. We'll be looking forward to that. And yeah, he's got that mustard to match the background that he was on. Christopher Genius representing the mustard gas U.S. Army Whoa, dude. with Guile. Weapons of Mass Destruction versus Kadeen, represented by China's top player, Dako. That's true. Will we get to see some loops? Will he be able to put his opponent in a situation where he can activate the B-trigger and throw the booms on him? I think you can count on it. We'll see. Here comes the boom. The great sweep there from Dako, acknowledging that something uh, was going to come after that Sonic Boom stream. And what a curious choice of character here from Chris G, who had played someone so technical, so combo-heavy in Sakura in Street Fighter 4, making this transition almost seamless. Chris is a very versatile player. He can play an offensive character, he can play a defensive character. I think his wheelhouse, where he's oh. comfortable with defense, oh, that was a big gamble right there. The crush counter, stun into the corner, big stun damage now. Unfortunately for him, Guile does not have the same keep away Project Hill force field game as a Morrigan. So he's gonna have to, oh my god, we got loops! Beautiful. He's throwing them. He got that Roly on the wrist. Did he just throw? Oh yeah. The V reversal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. America. This is the territorial dispute. We're at the, mm. the high level play of Street Fighter V. We're gonna see a lot more throws versus the V reversals. This is true. We are done with the kiddie pool play. We're moving into the deep end. A 12 foot. When the ears start to pop. Eight feet plus, baby. Let's go. Seriously, I, I bet most of the public has not seen these colors before. Uh, unless you have grinded against the AI. But here, Christopher, genius, in full display of this character. I don't think any other person in EVO is really using this character at this potential. Big extended combo from Daco. Huge corner carry. And then one correct read in the corner there to take the round. Mm. He's got that original Kyrie. What is the difference between the old Guile of 4 and the new Guile of 5? The sunglasses? Perpetual sunglasses? Oh, talking about, you meant something different? Yes. I meant the sunglasses. He's a very different character now. He, he's, I think he can move around a lot more. Mm. He doesn't have to play to the stun, but you know, none of that matters when you've got Kyrie in your face. Chris G, though, oh, all the resources goes down with fully loaded V trigger and fully loaded super. Look at the crowd with Bay in mm. the back, giving that emotional, mm. loving support. With Daigo the Beast even peeping on the side, the Beast giving the Ume face to the heavens. He is also spying on these two top caliber players as he knows he will be facing this type of uh, character diversity and player diversity in the later round. So he's doing his homework right now. And an A plus for Daigo doing some reconnaissance early on. So Chris is a player, he, he really does prefer to let the damage come to him. He prefers to get it through his opponent making a mistake rather than trying to force things, I think, by, by default. But he knows when to turn it on when he has to. He certainly needs to turn it on here as he's playing from a life deficit and needs to battle his way out of the corner. 
not a place you want to be, but here we go. It's really new. We got loops. Uh, like, uh, what? How did he reach? Is he playing Morgan? I think that might have been the plan. Tried to mix it up there with the empty jump low. Now he's got to watch out, Karin. Totally These are stopped. not Sonic booms. These are soul fisting booms. That he is okay. That should take it. Full That's meters there. Goes for the final attack. And they're ready to cameraman cutting out as it was imminent defeat. Getting a lot of oxygen intake is Daco. He is deep in meditation with a firm lead as Christie puts on that standard uh, smirk or look of disapproval we'll at his own play. Grimace. Yeah. We'll go with Grimace. I mean, when you try to style a little bit, sometimes it'll come back to haunt. So they'll just have to dial it in even, mm. even more. I mean, I'm, I'm even surprised that someone like Daco in China, where the player base is not as uh, big as America, at least for this game, has this much experience against the guy. Daco is just a fighting game legend. Even if he doesn't, I wouldn't put it past him to be able to just learn this match on the fly. Counter oh, hit. and that, Confirmed. oh wow. Dropped. That Chip. could have been it, as he would have dizzied Christy. Big chance But now he's going to have to eat these loops. And again, interesting. Um, Looks like it's a setup. Yep. Either he's dropped it twice, or it's a setup looking for the meaty sonic boom. It actually whiffed both times, so he'll just have to make the best of the situation. Chris was streaming a lot right before this tournament. He was going into full uh, tournament mode two weeks out, grinding away at Guile. If he can use all that experience and not... Okay! You see, We've he's, he's just trying to force the mistake. He'll put out the sonic booms, make you block sonic booms, walk in your face for what feels like an eternity. Hope that's your reversal, and then try to get the punish. That's where he lived. That's his wheelhouse. Has Christy ever played a charge character before? Hmm. FGC, historic. Yeah, you do not want to trade with that Kadeen's uh, shoulder. Okay, a big gamble, but it pays off for Christy. Following his boom, gonna chase it down. This does not disappear despite the distance traveled. Wow. Good string. Unable to keep Kadeen in the corner. Oh, the sweep has been working out for Daco, and now he's going to be able to confirm off of that V skill activation. And again, a very disappointed look as he takes an early exit into the losers. That's unfortunate. The way the, that a lot of those rounds went down, Chris G was doing fine. Yep. He was he was actually in an advantageous position. He was firing things off, but he either dropped the pressure, dropped the combo, and opened the door that much for Daco to bring it right back. Well, uh, I'm really enjoying these international clashes. That was USA versus China. Up next, we're actually going to have some glorious Nippon. And the leader of that pack uh, is Lord Daigo Sama, the shogunate of TV. Japan FGC, most legendary player, going up against a, to me, an unknown player in AKG Supreme JD. Do you have any intel, perhaps, on Daigo's opponent? I don't know anything about Supreme. We're gonna have to find out. This is his chance. I line up for that all day. This is always this is always your chance to uh, make us remember you, to make us know your name, uh, to be somebody that we look out for the next time you get up on the stream. So even if he does go down to Daigo, now let's be honest, he's yeah. the odds are against him. He can still come in here and show that uh, he's a formidable player and give us a match. It is a certainly an honor to be a punching bag, a sandbag for the Lord Daigo Sama. Uh, you can see uh, Daigo rocking uh, his Teespring t-shirt. Uh, you can check that out at his store at, uh, I believe, twitch.tv, beast beast TV. Um, and we have certainly seen this man develop as a player, but now as a brand himself, his book sold out immediately. I saw the line, and uh, Daigo, I cried. I shed a single <laughs> tear, and I... I went back to go do the things that I needed to do and watch those books sell like hotcakes. Here's the thing. They didn't put a quota limit. And so people were mass buying them. Like, oh, give me 10 of those. And they bought it all for their friends and family. And very quickly, the supply did not keep up with the uh, pent-up demand. And it was an immediate sellout. Filthy scalpers. I mean, I, filthy are, scalpers. Is, is Daigo the new Yeezy boot? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> people were lining up. Uh, the night prior it with their be. bots trying to buy it offline. Could be. Here we go, Beast uh, TV's Daigo in the regular vanilla colors, standing neutral against AKG's Supreme. 
gonna land on that Hadouken. Wow, so meaty was that crouching medium punch that he was able to block the V reversal. Knock, knock. Standing medium punch. Who's there? It's Daigo the Beast. Waiting to put his fangs in there. You do not jump in on him. He has been uppercutting fools for well over 15 years now. Just another day in the office. <laughs> yeah, please. Not gonna this is a no-fly zone. Uh-uh. This is like trying to fly one of those drones, those newfangled drones over the White House. You will get shot down by the anti-air Daigo Umahara. All the aircraft are grounded. You see them right there. Don't jump here. Mm. Supreme JD not letting the pressure get to him. Getting in there and just trying to apply Lara offense as best he can. Certainly. Defense is strong from Daigo. Mm. I noticed that a lot of the Ryu players uh, in Tokido, in Daigo, have been using this sort of like fake Hadouken uh -huh. uh, just with their joysticks. So they'll input a fake button, uh, like the Alex Vi, which is the Hadouken with a light kick. Uh, and so they'll just do the motion, which will cause them to go into this, say, ducking, uh, moving back and forth animation. Yeah. Um, and so no frames are wasted, no yeah. light kick animation is needed. But you know that he's buffering the Hadouken, and that is the sort of mental play in the midfield. Yeah, it's a buffer, and in that way as well, you kind of set the buffer and then you kind of get a couple frames to react. So you can eyeball the situation and maybe you throw out the fireball late, mm. sitting on top of the input already. Daigo, the GOAT, greatest of all time, rocking the goatee here at EVO. You know, there are long nights just practicing, scoping out your opponents, watching other people play, and also trying to enjoy your time, right, at EVO. This is a celebration of all things fighting games, but now he is here to work. Can he use all his knowledge that he has been used sharing on Beast TV on his Twitch stream and uh, employ it for himself? It seems like uh, Supreme is having difficulty get, get, getting in. What would you recommend to this poor soul in cracking this stellar defense? He's coming at Daigo with a with a very linear approach, mm -hmm. and I mean it, it's hard to get those advanced mix-ups with Lara, but. Right now, Daigo's shown that he's been there, he's done that, he's seen these uh, these obvious mix-ups, and so he just needs to do something crazy, something unpredictable to get the ball rolling. Daigo with a look of disappointment, telling AKG Supreme, you did not buy my book, and this is how I will enact revenge on you filthy plebeians. But there's no excuse now. Before it was trapped behind that glorious hieroglyphic language of Japanese, and now the knowledge has been democratized with the English publication. Hey, even if he didn't read that book, Daigo just showed him how to read an opponent. He should give the book to everyone he vanquishes into the loser's bracket. I think that you basically experience the book. That is your... That's that's how you take away what Ume is. <laughs> His joystick chassis should just be the book. Like that, a tome. Now, I don't know, man. That You'd have to watch out for that joystick. People would be looking for that one high and low, trying to snatch that one out of the way. Speaking of being in that X split of knowledge, uh, get your 20% discount with the code PORTER2016 at xsplit.com slash CPT, and you too can be a pro streamer. Huge supporters of uh, the FGC X split. Yeah, the actual people uh, that are bringing you this broadcast are from uh, X split. So, and we're of course are lounging in these comfortable Vertigear chairs that lower lumbar support giving that cushion for C6 and C7. <laughs> I actually don't know if that's the right posi position. I, I, no, I think you're right. I think the, the yeah. higher the number, the lower it is. Okay, or right around there. Yeah. Um, but man, I, I've been, you know, the better the chair, the more ergonomic, more important, because I've just been craning my neck, getting catching them Pokemons, Pokemans in them, and uh, watching these Street Fighter streams. Up next is going to be uh, someone very familiar with you, uh, the entire viewership. It is the legendary... Tokido Hajime Taniguchi from Japan, arguably the strongest player in Street Fighter, along uh, with Infiltration, based on results. In five. In five, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, in I agree. five. I agree. He's definitely the most consistent right now. He's traveled, I think, the most at this point. Yeah. And uh, like you said, aside from Infiltration, the, the best tournament results right now. Already qualified for our Capcom Cup. Mm hmm. So right now, oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's been in there. Even if he didn't win that premiere, uh, the last one, I believe he would have gotten in there certainly with points. Wow. So right now, doing a little bit of the gatekeeper status, yeah, making it tough for everybody else to get into what is 
officially his tournament. He's going to be there, Capcom Cup, later in this year. Well, the, with the exception of Phenom, it had really been those two players banding back and forth, whether it be a CPT Premier, whether it be a Red Bull Kumite. Uh, certainly there is another one in, uh, you know, the battle in Brooklyn. It could very well be those two again, unless someone steps up to challenge. Yeah, I've just heard some whispers about Daigo being able to make it out to that one. Uh, he needs uh, some of the... You're going to have to pull some strings. Yeah. You're going to have to pull a few strings, but it may be in the cards, so look out for what? that Okay, one. you being from, you know, you East Coast. Yeah, that's me. You keep it thuggery. Where would you bring, if you had Daigo in New York City yeah. for 48 hours, where would you bring him? Ooh. Uh, Don't tell me one of those microbrewery hipster bars in, in Brooklyn. You gonna take him to the real stuff? Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna take him to Min's house, dude. And we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be me, Daigo, Min. We're gonna just stream and eat steak. Uh, Chain him to the chair. Yeah, we're gonna have a ball. We're gonna take him to Spooky's crib. That's what we're gonna do. That would be a uh, terrible waste <laughs> there. I think you'd have a good time. Ask Mark Man. Okay. Mark Man will vouch. So let's see, we had just seen one of the most preeminent uh, Ryu's and legendary Ryu's in Daigo Mahara. How will Tokido express himself differently using the same character versus WTK Basics? Tokido, just one of the most technical players in 2D fighting games. Uh, a very studied player, a guy that used to walk around with frame data guys before we even really knew how to use them. Uh, for, oh no, no, none from him. So whereas Daigo had employed almost perfect anti-air strategy Tokido let that one slip by. Early activation, I don't incredibly agree with that, but he switches sides, gets a little knock. Tokido is throwing out the light kicks, and just like you said, you will incur a little bit of recovery. Mm -hmm. Got punished for that one. So in exchange for some visual uh, deception in that light kick, you, you are stuck shortly in that frame. Did you just gut punch yeah. the skills? Snuff. I mean, Basics is he's not in a terrible position, vitality-wise. He's used his V trigger already, though, and that was really the comeback potential. Oh my god. They called you know that what? one out. They it's called curious. it out a mile away. Both players in Daigo and Tokido ended with a back throw for KO. They could press anything else. I wonder if that builds more meter or gives less meter to the opponent. Maybe that. It might do uh it might do more damage uh, than the front throw. So maybe they're just trying to Oh my it. goodness, will Hello. you parry me, Tokido? Of course I will. Imagine how many waifus he could acquire being the preeminent player that he is after you see celebrities. Close range fireball, traditional Shoto stuff right here. Mm -hmm. And then even that standing light elbow jab is also a feint of a fireball. Respects the EX uh, strike. So okay, Kido looking to wait out this V trigger is out, but basic with the conversion and some pressure now. Oh, errant. Spiral, unpunished by Tokido. Basics, though, doing very well in this round. Basics is close to the super as well. You may want to slow this down a little bit, earn that meter, and that'll put a halt to the fireball game if he wants to spend it in this round. Hi, nice conversion. I'm not sure what Tokido was thinking. Oh my goodness. Hit him with the Pikachu Denjin. Sipping on that water, keeping hydrated here in the, de in the desert of uh, Las Vegas. Purified drinking water. But certainly the thirst is real for Tokido. I believe he is a multi-time EVO winner in previous games. I, I think that's the case. I want to say, I don't, can't name which one. ST? Uh, okay, CBS? so he won, he won CVS 2. Okay. Uh, the first one. And he also won... Uh, not ST, it was uh, that uh, the Hyper Hyper Street Fighter collection. Okay, you know, the one yeah, where yeah. you could pick uh, different versions of all the Street Fighter 2 characters, if I'm not mistaken. Loving the in and out dashing of Tokido. Very difficult to react to. And again, I don't agree with uh, Basics activation so far out there. And Tokido is, wants to wait that bar out and let it uh, candle burn with very little threat. There you go, and then just like that, the candle has the flame. Oh, he's meditation, and this is the new thing. Uh, I wouldn't say this is 
uh, well known, but Tokido had meditated at CEO before his match. He wasn't in training room, he wasn't in some hotel room playing friendlies and casuals. He was meditating. Basics with a little bit of, of a frame trap. Enough damage to get things started. Nice little fade away. Gets the crotch medium kick. Almost the Good equal. Jump back. Oh, that jump back hits the mark. Safe jump. Knock, knock. Tokido with the turnaround. Basics corner. Tokido, watch for the sweep. V trigger's available. Hi. That V trigger. Hmm. Yeah, that V skill there from Kami. Very easy to counter from a top player. Yeah, and Basics is trying to make hard reads with it. It's been successful for him here and there, but overall, I think he's gotten snuffed for it. Tokido will move on two games to zero. Clean, rather convincingly. Yep, clean victory from mm. Tokido. It seems like the meditation has really brought him calm, and we can attribute perhaps his victory over Infiltration, who had been dominant in the last three major tournaments, mm. to a new, renewed sense of peace and nothingness. Zero. That's interesting. We'll see how that works out for him. It definitely uh, has brought him this far. Yep. And we'll see more of him in the tournament. I'm Ski Sonic here with Z. This is the Capcom Pro Tour. We're going to buy PS4 is, Evolution 2016. Is on this I don't know anything about that. I don't know. I mean, we might have to ban. We might have to. You might be banned. I think you're officially banned now. Can we blur this out? Blur that out. Put blur that, that Japanese that. mosaic <laughs> on me. You got to keep me. <laughs> from uh, sullying the pure minds of the okay, Twitch chat. As okay. you know, that is the most pristine place. The clear waterfall water. You're out here corrupting people, Z. I'm just pouring that sewage in there. You need to stop. You need to dial things back a little bit. All right, turn it down a notch or two. This is the Abercrombie and FGC. Why don't you take your tea huggery, man? Go somewhere else with that. Where's your collared shirt at? Where's your fresh prints, Z? I ain't got no collared shirts. I'm with the thuggery with them collared greens. We don't know collared shirts and thuggery. Well, we don't need collared shirts because you can head on over to Amazon.com slash Capcom Pro Tour and get yourself the official Pro Tour tees. No thuggery on those. But what we do have is uh, your representation for your support of the Capcom uh, Pro Tour, of course, presented by PS4. I really like the black one. I do, too. That is the uh, wooden panel in Ryu stage. Mm -hmm. uh, the wind, wood, fire, mountain. Yeah. Fudin Kazan, I believe, is yes. what uh, I think that's a James Buddhist chant, said. actually. Fudin Kazan. Oh, it's just a, a mantra. You just ah. chant it. Do you mm -hmm. think that that's what Tokido was uh, thinking? He's not thinking about anything. He's thinking about... You think the, the real... He's achieved nirvana. Nothing. Yeah, he's like an enlightened state of mind, and only infiltration could penetrate, perhaps, that tran tranquility. So are you, are you likening Tokido, then, to Oni himself? Being able to empty himself of all emotion. Is that what happened to Oni? I don't know the lore. No, is it? Oni certainly doesn't look like... Oni was thuggery. Remember we had to ban Oni? Oni was banned? That's true. He was the ultimate thug, thuggish character. That's how he survived the Raging Demon, right? I think that's how, also how Gen did it. I'm not sure because, you know, I think we still need five more chapters of story mode to really get this one uh, yes. uh, specific and exact. But I, I think it was something like emptying himself of, of the emotion was he was able to avoid the Raging Demon. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what Tokido's doing. And I think that means you're calling Infiltration Akuma. Z? It certainly is looking like a two-man, a two-horse race. And until someone uh, like a Phenom perhaps can enter that very limited realm of uh, monsters and beasts, mm -hmm. it is really just a Street Fighter V. As far as the CPT is concerned, is a battle of will between the dominance, early dominance of Infiltration versus the evolution of Tokido to counter that wiliness, that slippery fish that is Nash. And you saw a lot of anti-Nash strategy, you also saw a lot of anti-Infiltration strategy. Uh, but one person that could definitely throw a curveball into the mix is the man up right now. It is Evil Genius's PR Balrog. Yes. And the reason why I say that is because he has traditionally performed very well against the Asian uh, force. Every yeah. time they come over, it is always PR Balrog with the USA, 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 America, make USA FGC great again chance. Uh, and he has a surprise character in the sense that Balrog, boxer, is only two weeks old. A toddler in the Street Fighter V. Pantheon. Yes. Which oh, color will he go with? It is the... Turk... What is that? Jade? That's not Jade. Who knows the Pantone color schemes? 
I mean, I think it's like a jungle green. We're here in jungle Vegas. Green. We're yeah. here in Vegas. You know, you want to get all the luck that you can. He dons the green ball rob costumes up against uh, Chaz, aka Minus, a New York player. Okay. Guilty Gear specialist in uh, games of that like and of that type. Mm -hmm. But uh, Guilty Gear is the one that he comes from. Of course, the Street Fighter is the melting pot of fighting games, in my opinion. How will he fare here on the home turf? We're actually in Las Vegas, playing on a Las Vegas stage. Wow. Oh, this nostalgic music. What is that wake-up option? It looks like a three-framer with uh, standing stand light kick. Light kick. That's, that's three frames, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my goodness, the sweeps that have carried over. Well, this guy, P.R. Balrog, has great reactions. If you try to slip something like a, a, a lengthy oh pass my like that goodness. through, and here's a stun already. 27 seconds in, P.R. Balrog's looking to take this round. He's going Muhammad Ali on him. There is. What is that? He, he I thought there was no elbows in a boxing ring. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you see, this is actually mixed martial arts, Z, so elbows are allowed. Four billion, please. That's why Balrog was banned. Did not play by the rules. Strong forward, minus mm, solid mm, bread mm, and butter. Mm, mm. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, PR obviously getting that last minute practice in the lab with Jay Wong. Uh, so he should be very familiar with this pitting match. Both of those NorCal residents able to break down the character as he does max damage combos, the crazy buffalo, gutting guilty player, exuding the dominance of Street Fighter over guilty. That's just huge damage. Uh, somebody tweeted earlier, yeah. hey, I got to play this guy that I'm a big fan of, PR Balrog. Mm. I asked him what should I do before the round, and he said, don't get hit. Uh, I think those are words to live by don't against get. this explosive character Balrog. I mean, once once somebody like PR Balrog gets the, the party started with that stand roundhouse, you never really know what's coming up next. Oh, the can opener? The one that comes over the head? Right over the neck, see, right over top of the neck. That's actually an illegal blow in boxing as well. Right. Balrog is a dirty fighter. Crouch strong, dash punch, and here comes PR Balrog. Yo, this is... Fight Money Mayweather. Good punish there. Highly negative on the overhead. Minus goes ahead, V triggers. Wow. Tried to dash in, but the button is out. Chesting PR Ball. Oh, he's done. Reactions he's done. is often a losing proposition. PR, please. The thuggery in the impact. Okay, wait, gets a neutral jump. That's always been the bane of any boxer's existence. No headbutt, too, in, in this one. Uh, with the reversal, you get a, a pseudo headbutt, but certainly uh, not one you can do as a standalone. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything about a neutral jump with that one. Minus keeping the pressure. What? Oh! What? He launched him. He what just, is that? He just pressed the button when he felt like it and commanded a crush counter. The kidney check. He's making a kidney pie out of this, Kareem. Oh my goodness. Waits out the V reversal. One more available for Minus. Just oh! Whoa! Oh, Did he? I think he just buffered that? it. That I was think he sick. just buffered it. If that had been blocked, could have been a problem, but it hit and we're all good. Aye. Oh, oh wait, I think that was, should have connected. Oh yeah. Oh that wow! Minus going in now! He's getting slippery here. And he went forward with it, yeah. He, ooh! Alright, so things got a little bit slippery, so. PR Balrog decided to dirty things up a little bit there with the delayed extension on the dash punch. Caught Minus with the counter hit and was able to finish things out with the grab afterwards. If Tricky you stuff. are a foreign player, you do not want PR to make it deep into the brackets. He has been known to just destroy people. And uh, now he has the surprise attack uh, along with Sako Ibuki. Other notables include himself. He's rocking boxer, but they have a character advantage in this interim where it's still fresh that these two DLC characters are released. Well, lucky for us, and lucky for you, you are probably not a foreign player if you're watching the stream right now. Uh, before you uh, take some time to check out any archives or anything, remember the guys that bring it to you, XSplit. You can use the code PROTOUR2016 right now and get 20% off. Head on over to xsplit.com slash CPT. One of our CPT. illustrious sponsors. And of course, it's Vertigear. Chairs we are sitting Can on. Can anyone, yeah, tweet at us which 
uh, vertebrae is actually being supported by these vertigear chairs? I, I would like to know. I, I believe it's all of them. Okay. But no, but there's actually a pillow here. I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, that one specifically. There's a lower pillow. Okay. Uh, back here. Do we have any doctors? Do we have any chiropractors? Tell us about uh, tell us about our vertebrae. Let us know. Uh, PR Balrog, like we said, moving on there. Great matchup. And coming up next, ooh, this one should be good. Nemo. Alienware Nemo. Oh. He had been so self-sponsored for the longest of times. Mm. Known in Japan as someone who, during the day, was a salary man. Yes. Uh, you know, a worker 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. Or actually, it's probably like 9 to nine, <laughs> 10 in Japan, where they do uh, a lot of uh, OT, known as one of the... Longest working hours in the OECD, along with Korea. America's up there as well. But despite all that work during the day, yes. he would have to find like, you know, 30 minutes, one hour just to get some practice in. Yeah. Well, so, this guy's, he's strong in every game that he plays, so I think he knows how to make the best usage of that short amount of time that he has. Get this. He said he thought about setups at work. There you go. He, of course, he can't play, you know, right. during the office. Right. While he's doing his Excel sheets yeah. and uh, you know pivot tables, right. he's thinking of safe setups, ambiguous cross-ups. This how is you a know man. When you're good. Yeah, that's how you know when you're good. When when you're able to, as Bucktooth and others used to call it, get your your mental simulator going. Okay. You know, and you can you can kind of play training mode in your head, and then you just need to go test it all out, and then you're like, good, I'm I'm done. I know it. Have you seen a uh, hero, the kung fu movie? No. Okay, they have this one fight scene, uh -huh. but it just plays out in their head. <laughs> okay. They're, they're, so they're staring at each other, yeah. the two Kung Fu masters. Yeah. But in their head, they're going through every iteration of the fight. Literally Theory Fighter. Yes. And then, you know, like, the one that wins virtually also gets defeated in real life. So. Theory Fighter right there. Alienware Nemo, newly sponsored. Shoutouts to them. That's a great sponsor, man. Of course, big in gaming. They even represent, uh, they even sponsor some professional fighters and all. And his opponent, of course, is SD Pinoy rocking that purple Nikali, but dizzied by Claw. It's not something that you see very often. Uh, I was talking to Nemo earlier, and he said that he has actually taken cues from USA's very own Peter Sassini, also a sponsored player playing Claw. So they have been watching each other's footage. Uh, I believe one likes to stay in one stance more than the other, so they're you know getting some inspiration on how to make it more balanced Claw and playing to the strengths of each. Stance. Flash Metroid. Flash Metroid is confident in his day get here in the corner. Let's see what Nemo can do. Oh wow, cross up! Jumped up, he's gonna... Oh, did you see that? He's standing in the front now! But he missed his combo and missed the dizzy opportunity. Get off me, says Pinoy. Always close to stun has... He put Nikali in. And he went in after that soft knockdown with all that stun mounted. He could have just backed off for a second and let it dissipate. I think SD Pinoy was, uh, was playing a lot of Bison as well. He m might be considering the switch. Nope. Wait, yep. Getting in some tweets from the uh, medical community in the FGC. <laughs> it is the L1 to L5. Did not even know that we had those. Okay, and then the gentleman says, it's definitely your lumbar area that the lower pillow supports. The neck pillow supports your server. Wait, is that real? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't even tell. The thoracic and lumbar spine. Thank is this a that. character switch? Thank What's going that, yeah. on here? There is Bison. Huh. Thank that you, different. Internet, for the assists. Looks like a very uh, different costume there. I haven't seen most of these, but really great zombie-ified hobo Bipson. So, uh, oh my goodness, but... Bison will be a little bit happier to jump, take to the air. He's got good heavy jump-ins with, with nice hitboxes, and, and Vegas doesn't shine in the anti-air department. Right now, kind of a slugfest. Either one of these guys wants Dizzy. to get into that, that defensive position. Oh, man. It's, it's been a few of them. It's been a few of them. Aye. Well, dominating round so far from Nemo. Match round for the Alienware player. I mean, the only way you're going to keep Nemo out 
is if you build a wall to keep this alien wear out. But he is coming for you. Bison's a good character to build that wall, though. He's got, He's got goons. Big, big ground normals. Okay, punish. Said, nice jump in as well. Very close to the D trigger as well. You know, he needs Ooh. to be careful with those straight buttons. Watch out for that uh, surprise Aye. punish. Oh, instead, it's just a combo into the D trigger. Wow, nice really teleport dash. Glancing hit from the EX. I think he anti-aired that. Sniper! Gave him with the full screen. EX Barcelona. Uh, very convincing win for um, Nemo. Also yes. using a sort of rare character in yeah. Claw. We don't see many of them, at least not sure. in the States, other than Susini. So he moves on. Up next is going to be pretty crazy. SoCal fight versus Alex Valle, who gave a, a panel here at uh, EVO versus Arcade Shock's Reynold. So Mr. Lot Street Fighter, man. Alex Valle. Yeah. Mr. Street Fighter versus Mr. KOF. Uh, next match. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And uh, supporting your L1 to L5 lower lumbar is Vertigear this weekend. And you can get a 10% code at their site. And that is valid through the EVO weekend. Check out this next trailer from our stream.